at this particular workshop it's so nice because the majority of it is uh, our hands-on activities have been designed by researchers and people in the field as teachers we don't always have the time and ability to make those connections and so being able to have a concentrated amount of information in a short period of time that we can then take back and tweak and use in our individual classrooms is critically important for the success of our kids and make sure that they get accurate information. Educating for Environmental Change started in 2017. Uh, it was a program that began in direct response to the Heartland Institute sending out a textbook to 350,000 teachers across the United States titled Why Scientists Disagree About Global Warming. And then we felt like we needed to do something here at Indiana University to help ensure that the teachers who are teaching about climate change in their classroom, the science teachers in particular, had resources that were accurate. Coming to IU and having researchers give you accurate data, accurate information, uh, is something that gives um, us clout. Something that our students can believe in, basing all of our decisions on scientific data, not on politics. When we first started the project, we knew that the teachers were going to benefit by working directly with IU scientists. But what we didn't know is that there would be bi-directional benefits, that the scientists would also benefit from being a part of this program. Uh, I often say that if you can teach uh, your science or uh, communicate your science to a middle schooler, then you can teach it to anyone. One of the things I like about these climate change workshops is that these are basically a starting point. They certainly give you the flexibility to take that information back to our own classrooms and make it work, so to speak. As you could, uh, you can teach uh, a group of third graders and I can teach a group of seniors. That's one of the nice things that they uh, really encourage you to do is, is make it fit for, for who you're teaching and what you're teaching. So I, I really appreciate that.